Hello, this is Steve. I'm going to show you how to use HTML5 and Dojo Toolkit together to create a iPad or mobile app or modern browser uh, enabled application. Um, in this example, we're going to use a login page and then a base application page. Um, I'm going to quickly here log in. On this page, we have a login button and a context sensitive help. When I click login, it's going to switch me to the second page, which will be the only page transition during the example. In this example, I've now transitioned to a page that um, has virtually no markup, but um, utilizes the Dojo Toolkit and um, HTML5 to create a tab, con tab controller with a view panel below it to implement our model view controller at the client side. In this example, the default screen is the first tab on the left, which is the search screen, which gives us a live query on data from a JSON data source. So as I type or put in a search criteria, the data is filtered for me. Uh, I can hit clear. Dojo Enhanced Grid provides all kinds of paging and other controls that um, will make it easy to use as long as there is a uh, JSON REST service that has been correctly implemented. Now if I go up to the top and I select the next tab option, I'll click on channels. On this uh, example, the channels is using an HTML5 component that is displaying three uh, rows of mer uh, three columns of movies, two rows high. You can select and realistically customize this to render each data element um, in your own fashion with graphics or whatever you need to do. Also, we'll click up here on the browse option, which in this example we're using the InfoViz Force Directed Graph, which InfoViz is a free uh, library that just allows us to create uh, uh, directed and relational graphs. Um, the next option is the settings, which just is an example of a simple uh, dojo form that you could use to save preferences. Again, just real quick, a search with Dojo Enhanced Grid, channels with HTML5 Grid, browse with a InfoViz graph, and an HTML or a Dojo form. All this was developed um, using a programmatic approach. Uh, there virtually is no HTML. There is a little bit for templating, um, but basically uh, when the application starts, um, this is the body of uh, the application. We just have a, a few div elements that we use as uh, targets really for our dynamic code to uh, reference. Also, um, all of this is written in a reusable manner, meaning that realistically I just call main app, um, build main app from here, which in build main app I set up some parameters, the size, the version, um, some basic things, uh, what are the possible tabs that could come across the top, the authorization service, and in this example we're tied to a Java servlet that if we're authenticated, we have logged in, and it will provide us with a dynamic list of tabs that they can then use to um, work with the application. Um, if you'll notice that you know, we set up the application and then all we simply do is call our library function called um, build application which is then the heart of the client side model view controller in conjunction with the tab panel. Um, also we can very easily change our metaphor if we want it. This is using an HTML5 component for the top but Dojo provides a, a tab com component as well. So if I wanted to, I would just simply say use Dojo.